We have a report from our County Council of Student Council's President, Nolan Ursway. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the County Council of Student Councils finally has a resolution that we are seeking the assistance of the superintendent to help us put this in motion. Um, this is a resolution by the Palm Beach County Council of Student Councils to commence the installment of emergency telephone poles across district operated schools, school campuses in Palm Beach County. Whereas roughly 16,000 crimes are committed on school campuses every day, and whereas six Whereas around 6% of high school students have admitted they have at least once stayed home from school because they did not feel safe. And whereas more than 7% of high school students reported being threatened or injured with a weapon on school property. And whereas studies have found that 58% of students 7th through 12th grade experienced sexual harassment at school. And whereas United States public schools reported 4,200 sexual assaults in 2009-2010. And whereas this resolution will provide students with a quick and easy way to contact adult help or feel safer at school. And whereas the passage of this resolution would decrease the amount of school violence, drug usage, and sexual assault in Palm Beach County schools. Now, therefore, the Palm Beach County Council of Student Councils declares and resolves that the Palm Beach County Council of Student Councils requests the Palm Beach County School District assist in installation of emergency telephone poles across stations across all district operated schools in Palm Beach County and school violence therefore decreases and students feel safe and comfortable in their schools as a result of the placement of the emergency telephone pole stations. Um, basically, uh, we feel very strongly this is something that could highly help with the assurance and safety of students across all campuses, so we're seeking assistance in that. We need a, um, a motion for a, rec a recommendation for approval by all seven board members, seconded by all seven board members. Discussion, Mrs. Bro. Thank you. So I have a question for you. Go ahead. What's an emergency telephone pole? So, <laughs> I know that it's a hard label to put on them. So if you go around college campuses, you see those blue, big blue emergency poles you see across with the big blue lights where you can basically press a button and it'll contact you directly to any, usually at the, at the college campuses, it's the local police station, but this would maybe go to the main office or the school police. So yes, you know, if the board accepts um, your, your resolution, what we'll do is we'll send this to um, our security team and our staff for further review to look at how it, something like this would fit into the total security package. Um, what I'll say today is there may be a form of this that we may be able to create. We are looking at all options um, as, we, as we upgrade our security efforts. But first, let me say this. I appreciate you and the fellow students even taking the initiative to bring a recommendation to us. That's very important. As, um, as our wonderful chief of police says, you know, I am school security. We're all part of this process. And so um, I can just fully appreciate just the effort that, that you and your team put forth in bringing this to us. So we will, we will take this into consideration. Um, and what we'll, we may actually do for you is we may bring you in to talk about some of these things moving forward so you have an understanding of how it fits into the larger plan. Of course. Thank you. Mrs. Rico. Thank you. Before the um, board actually undertakes a vote to approve this, I would just um, recommend that we make it, uh, amend the motion to um, accept it. Okay. Um, and that that way the uh, action that Dr. Fenoy outlined could be followed. All right. We'll, we, uh, we'll, do all seven board members agree to the amendment? Second. All second, seven board members? Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 7-0, as you can imagine. So, thank you. Thank you. Academic Advisory Committee report. It's in writing, so we won't have a report tonight. Construction Oversight Review Committee, Mr. Doctor. Come on, Mr. Doctor, you're showing your age. Move a little faster there. <laughs> 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 That's why my hair is turning gray. <laughs> Chairman Bobby Arrigo, school board members, Mr. Fono Superintendent Fenoy, my name is Lou Doctor. I'm here representing your construction oversight and review committee. Uh, we met on uh, January 17th. Uh, we had 10 cork members present at the meeting, and we discussed four items that are on your consent agenda tonight. The first one was FC1 Wellington High School paving and ADA improvements. This is a closeout contract. The work is done. They've resolved the financials, and they're closing out the contract. They're returning to the sales tax reserve 
approximately $26,000 of unspent money, and that job was successfully completed. Cork recommended it go forward by a vote of 10 to 0. Under purchasing construction, we looked at three projects, PC1, PC2, and PC3. They all impact Verde uh, Elementary School. PC1 is design services for uh, Harvard Jolly. Uh, this is the second amendment. They've already been under contract. We're adding additional funds to the contract in order to establish a holding school for the Verde students while that school undergoes reconstruction. The holding school will be on the Don Estridge Middle School site. Uh, and we hope to open the school 2019-2020 year. PC2 is also for Verde modernization. This is the First Amendment with Moss Associates, which has already been funded to do preliminary work on it. This is a pre-construction services contract for 48000 for uh, establishing the site at the Don Estridge uh, Middle School. And the third one is PC3, and that's also for Verde. It's for the holding school for at the Don Estridge site for the Verde students. And that's also with Moss Construction. This is the second amendment to their contract. Uh, we had three observations on these three programs. First is we recognize that it's a very tight site, a very tight project to find a home for the Verde students while their school gets rebuilt. The second one is uh, we recognize there may be additional amendments necessary as the project proceeds, but it's urgent that it start immediately because of the tight schedule. The new Verde school will be a K through eight school as opposed to a K through five, and we understand the logic and the reasons for it, and Cork agreed that it should go forward. Uh, I think this is a, an aggressive, ambitious plan, but uh, Verde certainly deserves a new school. I believe it's 40 years old. Uh, it's one of the oldest schools in the district, and the kids are going to get a great, great school. Uh, they're solid contractors. Your staff is very sensitive to the urgency and the schedule in order to get in time, both for the summer work that's going to be done, the relocation for the students for one year, and then <coughs> they're moving into a new school. So Cook recommended that all three go forward by a vote of 10 to 0. In addition, we discussed with your staff uh, the summer work. Uh, your staff has identified 22 schools that are going to have work done on the, su on the summer. That work is going to displace plans that may have been uh, accomplished last year for the schools during the summer period. So the principals are being notified that they should work with any people that may think the school will be available this summer for relocation to other facilities so that there won't be an interruption what they want and they have enough time to plan what's ever going to happen. That involves 22 school sites and those superintendents are being notified. In addition, there's another 17 large projects that we have to consider that may also have a summer impact on things that uh, happen. This is all good news. Uh, don't get me wrong. The sales tax money is being put to good use to recover the condition of the public schools in, in Palm Beach County. Finally, I wanted to tell you that Dave Porter was nominated and unanimously elected as the Cork Chair for another year, and Virginia Farris was nominated and elected as the Vice Chair for the coming year. We had a good meeting. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Thank you. We appreciate the work of the Construction Oversight Review Committee. So, President Ursoy, we have a long-standing tradition here that Mr. Shaw will ask you a question now, so you're going to have to be prepared to answer it. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to ask a question. Uh, what is the date and time of graduation? Oh, the time. Uh, the date is May 24th, and sadly, the time is 8 a.m. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it, but it's a little early, but I'm more than okay with it. <laughs> Congratulations I, I, on your graduation soon. I saw that you were getting ready to leave, so thanks for sticking around for one more Thank you more very day. much. No problem. Nice I do expect you to grow your beard out for graduation if your mom lets you. Oh, no, I planned on it. Okay. I, I definitely planned on it. It's, it's, it's going to come back soon. All right, that'll move us to elected officials and delegates. And